Guys, it's your friend Coach Solomon, the creator of the video marketing university.net, as well as x1kvideoads.com. Welcome to Facebook Business Help. Promote your business on Facebook without family saying. You have a lot of guys that have been online for a long time using Facebook. You have a lot of guys that are new because of this pandemic. You have a lot of new people online and it, they don't know exactly what to do or how to promote their business properly. They have a Facebook account full of family and friends and they don't want them to know anything about the business that they're trying to promote on uh, Facebook. That's completely understandable. When I started six years ago, uh, I was in, in, in the same situation and people, they just don't understand, you know, entrepreneurship, the concept of it. And some people may think it's silly when you're pursuing it, unfortunately, but more than likely these guys are employees and they'll likely be employees for the rest of their life. But I created this video to solve that problem for you because you can promote your business on Facebook full blast today and i'm going to show you how to do it without your friends and family seeing everything that you're posting because you want to keep that side of your life discreet okay until you're getting paid the big bucks then you won't mind in but for now while you're still growing you want to remain discreet but i'm not only going to show you that i'm going to give you the full package i've been online for six years and i'm going to give you some training that i used that i uh trained my that i used to train myself uh, about five or six years ago you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and there's two trainings for you. This is one. Just click on a picture in order to watch the training. This is two. Now, this first training pretty much is going to help you to appreciate that the type of business that you have on Facebook that you're promoting will determine how much difficulty you'll have producing results and success. Certain types of business that people promote on uh, Facebook, uh, they're going to have a hard time finding success online. And when you watch this video, you'll understand the reason why. And also it teaches you I call it hand-to-hand -hand combat. It teaches you how to engage other entrepreneurs. You're going to come in contact with so many entrepreneurs on online, and they're all trying to sell you, sell you their product. But this training will teach you how to, to engage these people successfully to produce results. And uh, this uh, this type of training right here has actually benefited me tremendously, especially when it comes to my video marketing business, uh, engaging professionals. It'll help you in real life engaging people in general. It's phenomenal. So come down, check that out. And also this training right here teaches you how to stay out of Facebook jail. When I first started online, the way I was marketing my business online was not in harmony with Facebook policies. So this training right here will pretty much uh, teach you how to promote your business in harmony with Facebook policies, because if you're not doing that, uh, Facebook will flag your account. It'll probably freeze your account for a week or maybe even permanently. So you don't want that, especially when you're trying to uh, get up uh, create another means of uh, getting that bread and butter for yourself and your family. You can't do that if your account is banned. So these are just the ropes of having an online business using Facebook. This information is extremely valuable. And it's just, this is the information that I use. I only offer uh, products that I use. And that's, what, that's the uh, information I've been using for the last six years. Let's get, let's get straight over to Facebook. And I'm going to show you right now how to promote your business on Facebook full blast with full confidence and knowing that your business efforts, endeavors are discreet and your family and your friends won't know anything about it. Not that it's a secret, but you just want to keep it discreet. So you're going to come over to your Facebook account. You'll go to your profile, touch on the more, click groups, because I'm pretty sure that you guys are probably joined about a thousand groups by now. But there's certain types of groups that you need to join if you want your online business endeavors to remain discreet. So you're going to go to each group, hover, and you see how this says public. Every time you post inside of a public group, your post appears in the public news feed and your family and your friends, they will see that. And that's not what you want. So you're going to go to each one of these groups. It says joined. You're going to leave the group. Like I said, you probably joined about a thousand and one groups. So you got to go to each one. Find out if it's a public group and leave the group. OK, you're going to come down to another group, do the same thing until you or delete all of the public groups. Is this a public group? It's a public group. So you want to delete that group so that your family and friends will not see your business promotion. Leave group. You're going to keep doing that until you delete all the groups that are public. Okay, now that you finished that doing that, you're going to
going to come up to the Facebook search bar. And you're going to type in the type of group that you want to join. Home business opportunities. Okay, now that you're here, you're going to click on groups. And you're going to click, come over to the left and click private groups. Now, when you join these groups and you post inside of these groups, your family and friends will not see your posts inside of their news feeds. So make sure all the groups, like I said, come over to the left, press private, then look for what groups you want to join. 70 posts, 30 group posts a day. Now, when it comes to the public groups, some of these groups will have like hundreds of thousands of people of them. In, in those groups, but just because they have uh, so many people doesn't necessarily mean they're the most effective. If you have like 500 posts per day, there may be a possibility that nobody's seeing your posts because there's so many people posting in the group and nobody really scrolls down, you know, unfortunately. Not most people, I do. But uh, you want to make sure that you join these private groups. Look for the right ones, take your time. It may take a little bit more effort than joining uh, public groups, but at least you'll be able to be uh, discreet about your, biz about your business on Facebook. So that's one method. Now you're going to take it back to your to your to the home page right here. I'm going to teach you something else how to create a friend list. Okay, once you come to the home page, you're going to come to see more. You're going to click on friend list right here as you can see here. You're going to create a friend list. You're going to create hit the create list. And you're going to name your list. You can add people here, but there's a different way to do it. That's a lot easier. Name the list. I already have a test list created. So you named it test list like I did, or you can name the list, whatever you want. You're going to press create. And then you'll see that list here. Now, once you see that list, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your profile. You're going to go to your friends. Now, this is what I do when I post in these uh, Facebook groups, when people like comment on my posts, when when we engage each other, what is what I'll do is I'll I'll send them a friend request. When they when they respond to the friend request, I'll come down here. And since I create that new list, I want to throw people on that list. So you're going to hover over the friend button. You're going to add to another list. You're going to click on that. And you're going to click, you don't want to click both, but you can. You can put them on actually however many lists that you have. Because maybe they might qualify for two lists. But I'm just going to use a test list, so I'm going to add that gentleman to that list. Then I'm going to hover over the next name. Add to another list. Test list. That's the list I want on. So I'm going to click them. And they're on that list. And you're going to go down and add all the people that you engage on Facebook. And you're going to put them on that list. And I'm going to tell you why that's so important that you do so. I want this person to be on another list, on the list I created, which is the test list. I'm going to take them off. No, actually, I'm going to keep them on it because that's a list that I want them on. But just for the sake of this video, you click on that. He's going to be on a test list. OK, and you keep going down. You keep adding people to these lists, right, that you want on those specific lists. You're going to go back to your profile. Now, the beautiful part about that is that we're going to take it back home. Okay, each list has its own timeline. We're going to go back home. We're going to come back to see more. You're going to click on friend list. Okay, this test list, I don't have anybody on it. So I'm going to use this 2020 audience list as an example. You click on the list and look what you see. Your list will have its own special news feed. And when you friend people and you engage people online, I, like I said, I send them the friend quote request. And since we're familiar with each other, I'll put them on a, on a, I'll put them on a specific list. And I'll come to the list on a daily basis, maybe a half an hour. And I'll look through the content and I'll like and comment on, a, on their uh, content. That way, you're maintaining the relationship with the people you came in contact with. So that's one thing you can do with this friend list. You create the list. You uh, friend people who you, that you engage with online, build a relationship. 
you put that person on one of your lists. Then you're going to come to the news feed for that list on a daily basis, maybe about a half hour, and you're going to engage these people that you already communicated with to stay in the uh, in the loop, like comment on their content. So that's one thing you're going to do. Okay. Now, in order to post to this to this list right here, this is the one I created for myself, 2020 audience. You're going to go back to your profile. You're going to post something. Okay, so it's a webinar I'm gonna uh, that I'm gonna attend today, so I can invite these people. So I'm gonna invite them to the webinar. And normally I will write something up, up top, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to. So I'm just gonna show you to illustrate. Now you see this down here. This is how you put them on the list. Now in case that list name isn't already there, you just click on that button. And you're gonna see the drop down list. And most of the times, for some reason, it won't show the very bottom. So you got to scroll down to the bottom and you got to click on that list. And when you do that, or if that doesn't work, you can click on custom. And if that name is not there, you can erase it and type in your list. Plus save changes. So when you post this post, it will only appear to the people on your friend list. And that's how you keep your family and friends separate from your business on Facebook. Post it right here. And the only people that can see it are the people that are on the 2020 list. Now, if you want to change that, you can always change that, whoever you want to see. Now, I'm going to tell you something that's pretty interesting. Just another gem for you guys. The way when people decide, if you, when you get to a certain level and a person decides they want to do business with you, what they'll do is they'll research your social media accounts. And if it doesn't look professional, they're not going to do business with you. So there's actually, and that's what you're going to learn in those uh, video trainings that I showed you at the bottom of the blog or the blog post. They're going to show you how to set up your account like a professional so that when people research you, to find out if they're going to spend money with you, they want to see that you're on a level. Therefore, your Facebook profile to be professional. And I'm just going to give you like a little sample. Uh, you should have a professional picture right here. It don't have to be professional. It can be casual, whatever. But as long as it's not just, you know, out there, like you're not in the parking lot eating like a bag of chips or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It should look somewhat decent, especially, you know, if uh, professional, you know, the picture should be professional. It could be your family, whatever. It's something that shows about your family life, whatever. And also, it shouldn't be your business up here because when you, because I've been trained for so many years, I can look at a person online and I can tell if they're a rookie and whether or not to spend money with them. So if I can tell, you have a lot of guys that, that are professionals out there and they can tell. So you got to get your personal profile. You got to get it together, guys. If you want to advertise a business, you have to open a Facebook business page. Your personal profile is not intended to be a business page. Matter of fact, when you post on your profile, you should do 10% business posts, 80% family and life. These people want to know that you have a life, that you're not just online every day, uh, plastered to the laptop. They want to see somebody with a life. And it, it, it goes, like I said, it goes a long way when it determines whether or not people are going to spend money with you. So as you can see, I have all my family pictures here, but I'm going to tell you something else. Another gym after I go up, after I tell you what I'm going to tell you right now. But, you know, see, I got all my family members here, yada, yada, yada. And that's what I'm posting to my timeline. But my business posts, the people who come to my pro personal profile, they can't see that until I throw them on a list. So when they come to my profile, the only thing they're going to see are my family members. And that's when they, that's what they want to see. So uh, I'm going to tell you another gym right, right now to make sure that you know what people see when they visit your profile, click right here, view as a visitor. So that when they come, they can see, you know, like I said, 80%, 90% family, friends, 10% business. So they can see that you're an actual person with a life, and that's what they need to see. That's the professional way 
to uh, organize your Facebook uh, personal page, but it's not about etiquette. It's, a, it's about producing a result. Because like I said, people will research you. So let's go back to the normal page. Make sure, and that's the interesting part because I didn't notice for a while what people were seeing when they was coming and visiting me without being my friend. They were seeing a lot of bogus pictures. So make sure you check that out and make sure that you have the uh, family and friends on a public post um, so that, you know, people just won't see all your business pictures. You got to clean up your, got to clean up your act. But anyway, you would just click on one of these and make sure that you know what's on your public profile. Because like I said, when people check you out and they're not your friend, they're going to see your public pictures. So make sure you have the appropriate public pictures on your profile so they can see that you're a human being with a life just like everybody else, so on and so forth. Also, to brand yourself, this is my business link. Also, like you know, it's set up like a resume. That's what it is. It's set up like a professional resume. And this is what you're going to learn how to set up your profile in a professional manner so that you can get more clients. So uh, now let me give you some of my background. I'm a marketing consultant, specialized in video marketing. I'm a video marketing consultant, specialized in video ad creation. If you need some guidance with your online business, by all means, click uh, come to x1kvideoads.com, set an appointment, let's talk, and also just some customer reviews to give you some background information about what I'm actually doing for people because you have a lot of people out there faking it till they make it uh you can visit me on instagram x1k commercials you can see all my customer profiles i have maybe like 20 of them up here read see what i'm doing to help people putting them in the right direction so if you want a consultation and you need some guidance on your business and you don't want to take four to five years to figure it out because you need money now by all means come to x1kvideoads.com put the consultation and if you want a full rounded training on how to like i said um uh, present yourself online, how to engage people uh, so that you can actually start producing results, get some help with what type of business you should actually have to make it easy on yourself to, uh, to produce results, as well as how to stay out of Facebook jail. So I hope you appreciate the value of this video. Like I said, if you have any friends or family who's new to online and they don't know what they're doing, by all means, share this link with them. I'm pretty sure you'll be helping them out tremendously. It's your boy Coach Solomon signing out. Take care, guys.